and we are Brazilian Cultural Center in Nottingham. Yeah. So today this video is about samba. We're going to teach you what is samba, you're going to learn a little bit of the history of samba as well and in the end you're going to learn a few steps. Yeah, that sounds really good. So we're really proud today because we've got a special guest called Mayara Santos from Sao Paulo. She's a magnificent dancer and she's going to tell us about the history and the dance and, and what the dance means to her life. So stick around, listen to Mayara and let's dance at the end. Stay tuned! Yay! Olá gente, prazer, eu sou a Mayara Santos, pessoal aí do Brasil Cultural Center, muito obrigada pelo convite, vai ser um prazer falar com vocês sobre um, um pouquinho mais sobre essa trajetória e realmente essa cultura sensacional chamada samba, de verdade. É, sou a Mayara Santos, 31 anos de idade, sambista, idealizadora do Samba Fitness e principalmente amante, amante do carnaval e dessa cultura tão linda. Existe uma responsabilidade muito grande quando você representa o amor, o amor que você tem e principalmente a responsabilidade de dar direcionamento a algo que foi criado lá atrás, né? Os nossos irmãos, digamos assim, digamos, irmãos pretos, as pessoas é, literalmente responsáveis por essa cultura tão linda e conseguir transformar tudo isso em amor, magia e festa. Então, gente, é, é muito louco, né, quando você pega essa cultura toda e, e você consegue trazer alegria, trazer uma certa felicidade e principalmente intenção para o samba, para algo que foi tão, tão discriminado, tão inferiorizado como foi o nosso samba, né? É, após mesmo a escravidão, a escravidão, nós fomos libertos mas isso não foi uma liberdade totalmente né, esclarecida, porque fomos libertos sim, mas vetados de outras milhares de coisas. E foi na arte, foi na cultura, foi no processo de trabalho que foi possível é, transformar tudo isso em carnaval, alegria, arte e principalmente no que é hoje. Né? Existe uma responsabilidade muito grande de você dar continuidade no que o passado criou. Então, o samba, né, que depois de muito tempo vem da palavra semba, que tem toda essa mistura linguística das tribos, tanto brasileiras, é, dos índios, como dos negros. E quando você pega tudo isso por uma questão de adaptação e até mesmo sobrevivência, e você consegue unificar toda essa cultura. Estamos aqui, de uma certa forma, tentando dar continuidade a essa cultura tão linda, e, e de verdade, a gente precisa da ajuda de vocês, o estudo de vocês, o entendimento de vocês para que, que esse samba aconteça. Toda a troca, toda a troca, toda a transformação que essa cultura afro-brasileira teve no decorrer dos anos, até mesmo o samba viveu, passou por várias transformações, seja de instrumento, seja de letra, seja, mas a missão sempre foi a mesma, a missão sempre foi a questão de ser aceito. A questão sempre foi a questão de, opa, nós existimos, é, é, no, é o nosso canto, é a nossa alegria, é a nossa é, felicidade, é o nosso momento de libertação. Então, quando a gente coloca isso para vocês, que o Brasil, o carnaval, o samba, é a festa do povo, é, é a festa da população menos favorecida, é sobre isso. Porque o, o samba, ele nasce nos morros, né? Quando os, os negros, eles são libertados, mas não tem para onde ir. E aí eles procuram esses lugares que são subúrbios para sobreviver. Então existe essa coisa toda, então, aí de onde surgem todos os barracões e todas essas coisas mais. Que eram lugares que eles iam antes, quando eles ainda não eram escravos. Então quando eles são libertos, eles precisam ir para algum lugar. E o único lugar que eles lembram são eles. O nosso carnaval, ele, ele nasce, renasce todas as vezes, né? Então você pegar essa história, que é o, o, o preto, né? o, o afro, enfim, os escravos quando eles chegam aqui, eles sentem essa necessidade de organizar, reorganizar tudo que foi tirado, muita coisa foi tirada. 
a sua cultura, a sua arte, a sua liberdade, principalmente. Então você pega toda a sua, toda a sua arte, toda a sua riqueza cultural e, e vem para um novo país onde você é explorado e você precisa se renovar, se reinventar. E é isso que a gente faz com grande frequência, a gente se reinventa. E é isso até hoje, tá? São quase 300 anos de escravidão, são quantos anos? 104, 105 anos de samba e a gente continua nessa luta, nessa é, missão de movimentar e principalmente dar continuidade nessa história tão linda. O carnaval atual ganha uma grande proporção e tudo isso é transformado com certeza e o nosso samba hoje, não somente o samba, mas o carnaval do Brasil amplo como é, né? Temos aí Maranhão, Rio de Janeiro, São Paulo, é, Bahia, que todos esses lugares receberam escravos. Então, acaba tendo uma, uma participação muito ativa de todos esses escravos que foram, na época da escravidão, foram mandados. Né? Todos chegaram ali no Porto de Salvador e, e foram encaminhados para, para cada estado. E ali, dentro disso, dentro de cada tribo, dentro de cada... É, como eu posso dizer, cada tribo específica cria-se um novo conceito, mas tudo isso remetendo ao que era a cultura antigamente deles, do que eles lembravam ser. Então nasce o samba, nasce o maracatu, nasce o frevo, é, nasce carimbó, afro, samba, enfim, tudo isso. Então tem a, a responsabilidade, é total, a cultura é total brasileira, a cultura é total preta e claro, a gente se sente muito feliz de ver que a nossa cultura, de uma certa forma, ganha essa dimensão toda e, principalmente, o interesse de autoconhecimento de todos vocês. Então, eu me sinto muito feliz de ter participado, em especial Samba Fitness, Mayara Santos de São Paulo. Um beijo, obrigada! some steps we're gonna get you we're gonna shape you into the samba and then we're gonna get you to loosen up your hips get some footwork on the way and then you're gonna end up this video so you're really confident about the samba step okay so when we talk about the samba step we're talking about the very basic samba step so we're not gonna give you loads today it's literally just gonna drill you okay so you feel confident for the next video so are you ready yes Let's do this. Before we start, what we're going to do is, I'm just going to show you the dimensions of your hips. So you've got your hips, and then you've got the bottom of your spine, and this bit here cannot be locked in, yeah? So although your abs are going to be nice and contract, you are going to release the bottom of your spine, yeah? So this, this movement here needs to be nice and free. Okay, so your natural curve is going to be showing quite nicely. And then the second part is obviously the side to side movement. So we're going to work on these uh, throughout our workout and then obviously in the warm up and throughout this video. Okay, so remember side to side and back and front. So the emphasis, can you see that beautiful bottom? Yeah, so the emphasis is to the back. Yeah. So it's pushing out. Are you ready? Let's do a warm up. So we're gonna run in this warm up, okay? But you're gonna stay where you are. You're not gonna run away from us. You're gonna run, but you're gonna lean forward a little bit because the samba isn't completely upright. It leans forward a tiny bit, okay? So we're just gonna get used to this kind of frame. Okay, let's go. Are you ready? So get into your position. Make sure we've got plenty of space. We're going to start with our hips side to side. So let's pull our arms up. Hold. Feet a bit together. Hey, one, two. Yes, yes. 
guys. So I hope you're out of breath. I hope you have burned some calories there. Tiny little bit, so don't eat some chocolate just yet. But we are going to go into the second part of the warm up. So this bit is quite essential that you do it, you perform it well, so that you can get the benefit of it later on when you're trying to fall somewhere. Okay, so with this one, we are going to double bounce, okay, on each leg, right, left, right, left, where you are going to move your hip. So the side to side, you're going to double it. Double, 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 and double, okay? But we, as women, so we are going to do it on uh, the, uh, the tip of our toes, or as high as you can go. Obviously, not everybody can do it as high, but if you can just lift your heels off the ground a bit, that will be much more beneficial, make us have a look 10 times better, okay? But this, this isn't the summer just yet, but it is a great warm up to get us there. So we are going to double bounce, okay? One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. So move your hip, move your hip, move your hip, move your hip. Are you getting it? Nice. It is going to be quite demanding on your calves, so make sure that you do it, go through the pain, as long as it is a good pain. Do you know the difference between good pain and bad pain? Good pain is a muscle pain. It's a pain that you feel because you're working hard. If it is a continuous sharp pain, like on your knees or on your back, this is a bad pain. This is something that you're doing wrong, okay? So you need to stop, reassess, restart, and try again. Okay, so be very wary of bad pains because they can give you long-term damage to your body. So we don't want you to get there ever. Okay, so all right, so double, double, big hip, big hip, lovely. And then we are going to stop everything that is happening down here. We are going to move our arm. So these silver arms, they rotate, ta and ta, and ta, and ta. That's great. So we're just gonna do this, just to get use of this frame, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nice, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Make sure that you watch the rotation of our arms, there is a rotation happening here, and we keep the arm that is folded low. Okay, so try not to get it so high that it obstructs your face, so people can see your face. Okay, so it's low, 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 low. Nice, one, two. So what's happening here? As you do it, okay, I'm gonna use Vanya as my model, she's gonna carry on doing these. As you do it, your abs is going to be really contract, okay? So you're going to pull that in to the back of your spine. Bring it in. Your lower back is nice and released like we did in our warm-up, okay? And the upper part of your body, the shoulders will be down and your chest is going to be out, okay? So it's a very grand, open movement, yes? So your shoulder blades are nice pulled together. So none of these, yeah? But this is like bad posture. So nice, straight spine, okay? Are we ready? We're gonna play some music. We're gonna go from number one, big hip, bounce, 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 with your heels off the ground, as high as you can go, okay? Let those calves burn, it's fine. It's gonna make you look amazing. So, and then we stop completely, arm and arm, arm and arm. Okay, let's play some music. Okay, let's do these, so let's get into position. We're gonna go up, bounce, bounce. If, keep your arms out of the way.
M2, M3, M4. If you notice, every time you do this, you're going to tend to go towards the back, okay? But we're going to try and stop ourselves from doing it. You can do it as an exercise, but when you're doing the samba, you need to stay on the spot. So again, we just, I'm going to do sideways and when I can do it facing you, okay? So it's going to go three, two, one, and there, one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, again, and one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight. Okay, so there is a nice straight leg at the back where you're going to do your double and then there is a little opening and your hip is always moving, okay? Okay, so how it all comes together with the arms, okay? The arms, they are opposite from your legs, so when you're folding it in, the leg's going to be at the back, okay? So it's, it's opposite, it's almost as if you... But you're not, so don't do it. <laughs> it's just a way to remember, okay? And then you change and double, 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 and double, 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 double. Remember, open a little bit your leg. And fold the arms. Okay, the arms. They don't really have a like a, a traditional four way. So you've got regional ways of doing your arms, okay? Different parts of Brazil will do the arms at a different height. So here is common, okay? A bit lower is also okay. Or a little bit higher if you wanna really go showgirl, okay? So this is more in Rio, where the traditional card goes from, yeah? chiquita, 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 or lower. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You can relax a bit more, down, and 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 down. What you really want to do, no matter where your arms are, is to make sure that your hips do not stop. They are big, they are fierce, they are coming to get the samba. One and two and three and four and five, six, seven, it's slow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, fast. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's lift the arms. One, two, Three, four, five, six. Lower the arms. Eight, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, that's lovely. So what we're going to do now? We are going to do a little exercise. Okay, where you're going to train this summer. So Vanya is going to show you a little technique for you to get your summer moving around the floor. Okay, ready? Okay, so you learn a little bit of samba now, so you should know how samba is done. Yeah? Yeah? Yes. <laughs> so, let's go for the next part. Just get you moving with your samba. So, you know how to do the samba here, in place, but we gotta move. If you see the, everyone in Brazil, they always moving with samba, they go friend, front, forward, side to side, and around. So we're gonna do just that. Don't get scared, we're gonna go slow first, yeah? First, we're gonna go side, so we're going to the left, and then come back to the right. Let's do that. So what you're gonna do is, leg to the back, and when you go back to your, with your left, you're already doing a bigger step. So you're opening a little bit more than you should. So you're here with your normal samba. So you're not opening the leg that much. There's a little bit of opening of your leg, which is normal. And once you want to move, whichever direction you want to move, you're gonna open a little bit more. And the right leg will follow. Open, right leg will follow. 
and this is how we're gonna do it. So let's do four steps to the left, and four, not four steps, four sambas, four sambas to the left, and four sambas to the right. Let's do it, slow first. Five, six, seven, eight, then one, two, and three, and four, go back. One, and two, and three, and four again. One, two, three, four, go back, and one, and two, and three, and four. Well done. So let's do this. Left, right, then front, and back. Back, you know, back is very easy because you naturally doing it. So the back is very easy. You just coming back with your samba. It's the front. It is a bit, a little bit more compli complicated, but don't worry. As you do this, remember you compensate a little bit with your other legs so you don't move. It's the same place, you do this, right? So just compensate a little bit more. Give it a bigger step. So it will look like this. One and two and three. Yeah, I'm not going all the way. <laughs> so yeah, so let's go. Left, right, front, back. Two times. Let's go, five, six, seven, eight, ten, one, and two, and three, and four, go back, one, two, three, and four, to the front, one, two, three, and four, go back, one, two, three, and four, left, one, two, three, four, right, one, two, three, four, front, one, two, three, four, and back, one, two, three, and four, well done. So now what I want you to do is move around yourself, go around yourself, so I'm gonna go left, back, right, front, and then go back, right, back, left, front, four summers this time, yeah? Let's try and do it. Five, six, seven, eight, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, turn. One, two, three, four, turn. One, two, and three, and four, turn. One, two, three, four, go back. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, turn, one, two, three, four, left side, one, two, and three, and four. Well done. Let's put all these two together. Are you ready? So I want you to move left, right, front, back, and then turn. Yeah? Five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, and four, go left, one, two, three, four, right, one, two, three, four to the front, one, two, three, and four, go back, one, two, three, four, turn, one, two, three, four, turn, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, turn, one, two, three, four, go back, one, two, three, four, turn, one, two, three, four, turn, one, two, and three, and four, last time, one, two, and three, and four. Let's do it with music. Yes. Okay, now we have the music. Feel the beat, yeah? Feel the beat. That's what I always say. You gotta feel the beat. Okay. Yeah. 